Why is it that the state of Israel is so hungry to expand territorially? Why? He has taken Ibrahim salam on a journey from Ur, you are, which is in Babylon, which is close to the mouth of the Euphrates River, where the Euphrates River reaches the sea. And he travels with his family to the Holy Land. But notice the journey over here in what is today Iraq. And the end of the journey in what today is called Palestine, between these two areas is a vast desert area. And so travelers would seldom, if ever, attempt to travel directly across the desert. What Ibrahim alayhi salam did, and the Jews themselves give us this information, is that he traveled northwest along the rivers where there was water until he came to the north of Syria, south of Turkey. And when he reached there, then he headed south into Palestine. In this way, he was able to skirt the desert. The Torah tells us that the Holy Land extends from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. And it's time to, to tell the Palestinians, abandon your fantasy of destroying Israel. Abandon the fantasy that you will conquer Jerusalem. The Iranian drone was shot down. It's got a wing here, fixed wing here. So this was an Iranian drone sent over Golan Heights. Right. You shot it down with a F-16. Right. They then sent missiles and artillery to attack right. you and Golan Heights, and then you. Right. So this was the start of everything. Right that was here. it. That was this it. Was and you beginning. see it. The center was blown up by our, uh, by our interception. About 10 days after 9-11, I went through the Pentagon and I saw Secretary Rumsfeld and, and Deputy Secretary Wolfowitz. I went downstairs just to say hello to some of the people on the joint staff who had used, used to work for me. And one of the generals called me and he said, sir, you got to come in. You got to come in and talk to me a second. I said, well, you're too busy. He said, no, no. He says, we've made the decision. We're going to war with Iraq. This was on or about the 20th of September. I said, we're going to war with Iraq, why? He said, I don't know. <laughs> he said, I guess they don't know what else to do. He said, I guess it's like, we don't know what to do about terrorists, but we've got a good military and we can take down governments. And um, he said, I guess if, if the only tool you have is a hammer, every problem has to look like a nail. And by that time we were bombing in Afghanistan. I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? And he said, oh, it's worse than that. He said, he reached over on his desk, he picked up a piece of paper, and he said, I just, he said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense's office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. My friends, the enemies of Israel are not the Boy Scouts of the world. The enemies of Israel is Iran, which is destroying its Baha'is. Sudan, which actually crucifies blacks, which is a living concentration camp for its own people. Syria, which destroyed 20,000 of its own citizens in just one fairly well-known operation a few years ago. Hamas, whose agenda is the destruction of anyone who opposes their theocracy. Those are the enemies of Israel. They are also the enemies of good people. It is not a position we Jews asked for, but when we make this known to non-Jews, they will understand why we are here. Seventy years after the murder of six million Jews, Iran's rulers promised to destroy my country, murder my people, and the response from this body has been absolutely nothing. Utter silence. Deafening silence.
Perhaps you can understand why Israel is not joining you in celebrating this deal. <laughs> 